Hi everyone. Welcome to the demonstration of building the widget editing done bot. So before we get started with building the bot, make sure you have Node.js version greater than 12 as well as npm installed on your system. You can check the Node.js version using node-v. So if it shows the version that means we have it installed. And you can also check the npm version using npm-v. Now for getting started, let's create a new directory called Tingdom Bot and let's navigate into that directory. Now you can initialize an npm project using npm init y. So this will create the package.json file with the template that you can use for building the bot. So for this bot, we will require a few dependencies. So let's install them. You can install the dependencies using npm install followed by the name of the dependencies. So the dependencies that we need are vchat. QR code terminal and also a puppet to launch the bot. You can use the bot on WhatsApp, WeChat, etc. So let's install the WhatsApp bot. For that, we have to install WeChat puppet WhatsApp. So let's run this command. This should take a while to install these dependencies. After that, we are ready to get started. Open your project on any code editor. So I will be opening on VS Code. Okay, after opening, you will notice that you have this package.json file. And you will notice that you have the dependencies that we installed over here. Now let's create a new file called tingdongbot. And it will be a JS file. Okay, so for getting started with the code, first of all, we have to import the dependencies that we need. So let's add a comment here, import packages and the main package that we need is the vchat. And from here we will import vchat, scan status and log. And for displaying the QR code, we have to import the QR code terminal plugin. So QR code terminal space. Now for handling the different events of the bot, we have to define a few functions. So let's get started by defining the onscan function. So this function will generate the QR code that is needed for connecting with either WhatsApp or WeChat. And let's add a comment here. Function to handle QR code generation. And this onscan function will take a few parameters. One is the QR code and another is status. Now here we have to check if the status is waiting or if it is, it is a timeout, then it will generate the QR code. So after the timeout, the QR code might change. So you have to 
again display it. So that's why they, this if statement is needed here. We will use this scan status and we will check if the status is equal to the scan status waiting or if the status is scan status timeout and if this case is true then we will display the QR code so now we will use the QR code terminal plugin and generate the QR code to pass the QR code here and we will be displaying in a small format so that it's easier to scan using WhatsApp or WeChat okay so this is the on scan function this is a very simple function to display the QR code now let's um, create a few functions to handle a few states like login and logout states of the bot. So let's add a comment here function to handle user login and the function let's name it as on login. And here we will pass the parameter as user. So we will just add a log statement here so that we can understand when the user logs into the bot. Let's uh, give a name of the bot as the ding dong bot. and let's pass a string as the user so it will show which user has logged into the bot and this name we can store it as a constant as bot name ding dong bot and let's let's pass this bot name here okay now let's define the logout function to handle user logout function on logout here also we will pass the user and we will add the similar log statement here but here it will be logout okay so we have to define one more function so the main function of this ding dong bot is it will parse the message sent by any other user and if the message contains this ding dong message so it will then reply with the dong message so we have to define a function for that let's add a comment here function to and function to parse message and reply then so it will parse a ding dong message uh, it will parse a ding message and it will reply with a dong message this will be handy. okay so this function will be a asynchronous function so we will define it as async function let's name it as on message and this will take the message as a parameter first we will add a log statement here 
to print the message that is received we will pass bot name and message dot to string so this will print the message that is received by the bot now we will add a check statement that will check if the message contains ding so if the message is ding so we have to use message dot text to get the text present in the message and we have to check if it's ding so if this check is true we will send a reply so this will be a await and we can use the message to say dom okay so this this part will do the parsing and replying to the message okay so now we have all the functions defined that we need for the bot now let's initialize the bot initializing the bot let's store it in constant bot we will use new WeChat and here you can pass a name of the bot let's uh, pass the bot name that we had stored earlier and now we have the bot initialized but we have to handle all these events using these functions that we have defined so for that we can use the bot and call on over it to check what type of event is received by the bot so first of all we will check if the event is scan then we will call the on scan function then let's check if it is a login event then we will uh, call the on login function next is logout we will call on logout and the last one is the message event and here we will call on message function so this part handles the events of the bot now we have the bot initialized and we have the events defined so now we can just start the bot start bot so for that we can use the start function over it and here if it gets started then we will add a then here to print a log message if the bot is started we will pass the bot name and let's print as bot started and also let's add a cache statement here so in case of any error it can print handle the error and print it over the console we will use a log error here and pass the bot name and the error message Okay, I add an extra parenthesis here. Okay, so we have completed our code for the bot and it should handle all the events 
received by it and it should reply dong if the message received is ding. So before we run this bot, let's go to the package.json once and here we can change this main to ding dong bot as that is the main name of the file that we want to run. We can remove this script section, we don't need this. And here we have to define the type of this and we will define it as module. Now we are ready to start the bot. So let's head over to the terminal. First of all, we have to export the puppet that we want to use. So let's write here export and we can export the VJT puppet using this VJT puppet and by passing the puppet that we want to export. So here we are using WhatsApp. For running the bot, you can use node and pass the name of the file that we want to run. You can see here printed ding dong bot started and it's generated the QR code. So let's scan it using my device. You can see the preview of the WhatsApp here. And let me go to the link devices and scan this QR code. So you can here see here printed the contact and the bot has logged in. You can see here login is printed. Now if I try to send any message over here as ding, you can see it replied back as dong. You can see here the message as sent as DOM. And if I send a different message, it shouldn't send anything, but it should just print it over the console. We had added the log statement there. You can now get started building your widget boards and making customizations as per your requirement. Thank you for watching the demonstration.